Okay, in this video about my favorite uh, essential React plugins or packages, I'm going to be talking about React Loadable. But before we get into that, I want to take a quick moment to talk about this video sponsor, which is Dev Mountain. So what Dev Mountain is is well, it's a coding bootcamp where you can go and you totally immerse yourself. And what I mean by that is well, it's full time. So you show up to one of their locations and you stay and live there. And you obviously get free housing while you do this and there's in several different locations from Provo, Salt Lake, Dallas and Phoenix and you show up and basically you have access to full-time mentors, tons of courses and the ability to just grow as a web developer, designer, app developer in a place that really encourages personal growth. So Dev Mountain is super cool because you show up and get absolutely real world training. You can see it's very career focused. They have a huge network. Companies like Nike and Reddit and eBay, LinkedIn, Apple, HP, the list goes on and on and on. So if you're looking to really step up your career, head to devmountain.com, check out some of their locations, check out their courses, request a syllabus, take a tour of the campus and just contact them and step up your game by taking the leap into becoming a full-time programmer, designer, any of that stuff with Dev Mountain. All right, now back to the tutorial. Okay, thank you Dev Mountain for sponsoring and what we want to do now is talk about React Loadable, where let's dive into the description of this one as a higher order component for loading components with promises. Now this one is super awesome for several reasons. What this, uh, this package does is it basically prevents your components from being loaded until they need to be loaded. See, even has a nice logo. Route centric code splitting is shit. Component centric splitting is cool as shit. And uh, I don't know if that's a real quote. It says probably. Uh, it, by the way, this is packages by the James Kyle. If you aren't following James the the James Kyle on Twitter and GitHub and all this stuff, then go ahead and take that moment to do so. He is one of those people. Just one of those people you gotta follow. So let's talk a little bit about React Loadable and why people love it. Uh, I love it because, well, it loads components only when you need them, making code splitting super easy. You can see this quote. I'm obsessed with this right now. Create React app with React Router 4, React Loadable, free code splitting. This is so easy. And I personally use this all over level up tutorials. I have a, a component that handles all of this for me using React Loadable and using Meteor's uh, code splitting. I get automatic bundle reduction uh, like, for instance, the store for Level Up Tutorials is a huge amount of components. And I don't need to use all of those components on every single time. Like, if you're coming to Level Up Tutorials, and if you're a pro subscriber, like, why the heck would you need all of the components that are associated with the store? All of those libraries and all of that stuff. And the answer is you don't. So you can use something like React Loadable simply by importing React Loadable and then having uh, what you have is a constant React Loadable component. I call mine LoadMang. Uh, loadable component is a probably cooler name than that. But what you can see here is we simply just use the loadable function and we pass in an object. Now this object takes in a couple of things. It takes in the loader, which is a function which does your import. But you can just write your import right in here. And then what we can do is give this a loading component. Now this loading component is just a, well, a component. So for instance, on level up tutorials, if we go there, and then I head to, let's say the store, well, my site's being too fast right now, but uh, typically you may have seen it briefly there. Uh, there is a swirling Level Up Tutorials logo. Yeah, my site's too fast. I, I, I don't know. I need to slow this thing down so you can see it. But what it is is a loading component that pops up whenever this component has yet to be loaded. Now, in addition to that, uh, it's not really shown in this example, but you can uh, up the delay. For instance, do you want to show your loading component if there is a 200 millisecond delay? Yeah, probably not, right? If that if that delay is getting, you know, half a second or something like that, then you want to show your loading component. Uh, so there's also a delay property here. 
And this package is great. Uh, if you need to learn more about why you would use this to code split your app and stuff like that, there is just an excellent, excellent blog post here. So like I said, we can use this to only load our components when we need to. And, the, and I'm just at odd about how good this documentation is too. In this particular example, this loadable component only loads if this is actually loading. Let, let's say this loadable component was within an if statement or even based on a route, then it would not even bother importing the component at all. And the moment that if statement was true and this component needed to be used, it would start using React Loadable to import the component, potentially show your loading component if needed, and well, like I said, it just reduces your bundle size like crazy if your setup is correct. Look at this, I shaved 50 kilobytes off my main bundle. And some people like to ask me, how did I get level up tutorials so fast? Like how, how does this load so fast? And the answer is honestly bundle splitting, right? Like I am only showing the user what components they need at any given time using React Loadable. You can see it right here in my packages. Love, love, love this. Let's go to my routes here. I'm gonna go to my main layout. And you can see here, uh, I have all these routes that are just having in a component, and then I'm using my own React loadable component called LoadMang, and I'm saying, hey, LoadMang, import uh, this particular component if you arrive on the sync page. Uh, other than that, don't load it. And like I said, this is super handy, especially if you're trying to prevent people from loading up the entire uh, e-commerce packages if they are a pro subscriber, right? That's gonna make the experience better for every single person that visits your site. So React Loadable, all of the docs are here to learn how to use it. I also have a video on this channel where I talk more in depth about how I'm using this to absolutely crush my bundle size. Uh, so check that out as well. React Loadable, one of my absolute all-time favorite components, the James Kyle, someone you wanna follow, click his name here, uh, check out all of his packages. Super, super cool guy who does a lot of excellent work. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.